asked for you guys help in helping me find a new nail tech and you guys definitely helped me out a lot that was automatically red flag for me like if you're gonna do that make sure you're also paying very close attention on what you're doing with my nails i'm just super picky and i like my nails a certain way i know that's right she killed that okay <laughs> As you guys can see, the pigmentation of their gel nail polishes, girl, it's on point. I know that's right. Okay. Um, and if you guys don't know why I'm doing this video, you guys need to click out of this video and go watch my nail tech story time video first and then come back to this video. Everybody has their way of doing nails and everybody's not for me. And that's cool. But we're going to see who's up for the job. We're going to we gonna say, write up a check, we getting paid. Cash stay blue, diamonds do too. Take no L's, only blunts to the face. Car no roof, bitches stay thirsty. I got the juice, I just be posted. Giving me views, you giving me looks, I'm giving you moves. Girls don't say true, doing what we do. First of all, let's get into these nail polishes real quick from Nail Reserve LA, aka Nail Addict. Their nail polishes are vegan, cruelty-free, and chemical-free, and not to mention super pigmented. My nail tech absolutely loved working with these nail polishes. They have so many different supplies on their website. If you guys are interested, don't forget to use code NOTCH50 at the end of checkout to receive 50% off your entire purchase. Okay, so... Let's just jump right into it. Um, as you guys see by the title, I'm gonna be doing a review on nail techs that I tried that you guys suggest. You know exactly why I'm doing this video today. At the ending of my story time video, I had asked you guys to help me find a new nail tech and you guys flooded my DMs with new nail techs. Of course, I couldn't try them all, but so far I have tried four and I asked you guys to help me find a new nail tech and then I was gonna do a video on reviewing each nail tech that I went to. Okay, if you haven't seen that story time video, I suggest you go watch that video first, then come back to this video. Then you'll find out why I'm trying to find a new nail tech. So before I start, I just wanna say that in no way, shape, or form am I trying to hurt anybody's business. Um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful in any type of way. Um, I'm gonna try to be as respectful as possible, but also I wanna give my honest, raw opinion. Um, I don't want anybody to take this video offensive in any type of way. I'm just a very picky person and I like my nails in a particular way. So again, um, I'm not trying to come at anybody's craft, okay? And I also want to say that every nail tech that I tried is super talented. Again, I'm just super picky. Um, and I'm also not going to be naming the nail techs or their businesses or anything like that because I'm not trying to hurt anybody's business in any type of way. I'm just giving my honest opinion and, and just how I feel in my overall experience. So yeah, so not only am I critiquing the nails, but I'm critiquing the overall experience with each nail tech that I went to, okay? So I need you guys help to help me find a new nail tech. Okay, we're gonna review four nail techs. I probably would try two more, but um, we'll obviously get to that on a later date, but so far I've tried four. So yeah, if you guys like the nail tech, I want you to say nailed it or failed it, okay? So I need you guys in the comments letting me know which nail tech you feel like is the best fit for me. So let's just jump right into it. And I also want to say shout out to Nail Reserved LA for collaborating with me on this video. Um, their nail polishes are super dope, as you guys can see, very pigmented. If you guys are interested in buying any of these supplies from Nail Reserved LA, make sure you use my code NOTCH50 at checkout, okay? And that will give you guys 50% on your whole purchase. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first nail tech that I went to, I'm not gonna lie, this was when um, this was when I freshly just got out of that situation with my ex nail tech. That situation had literally just happened. So this was the first nail tech that I tried out. Um, I kind of rushed trying to pick the first nail tech that I really wanted to go to because I really needed my nails done. So, yeah. So, this was the first one that I seen, the first one that I picked. And uh, her Instagram page didn't have, like, a lot of work, but it was enough to show that I felt like she would be able to do my nails, like, the type of style that I like. So, this first nail tech, we're going to make it real short, real simple. Um, the overall experience, it was cool. Um, she works in a shop. She owns her own shop. And, um... It was cool, like regular nail salon, overall cool vibe. She was a very cool person. Um, yeah, it was it was regular. Um, as far as the nails, I did not like them. And I also want to mention that I feel like the videos do the nails no justice. I feel like I feel like certain nail sets that I did, um, 
they look better in the video than they do in person so i'm definitely going to be pointing out to you guys which nail sets look better in video versus how they look in real life okay um and then you guys can decide if it was a nail or fail <laughs> these are one of the nail sets for example that looks okay in video but in person it was just not giving what it was supposed to give okay um when i went to her i was kind of unprepared i didn't really know what i wanted um usually when i go to nail techs um i kind of have like six different ideas in my head because i like to get each and every one of my nails done differently and so um once i have my ideas i'll go to my nail tech and then we kind of bounce off of each other ideas and things like that and you know create a dope nail set but unfortunately in this case i wasn't prepared so I kind of just wanted her to freestyle and do her thing, but, but she did not do that. So I kind of just showed her like previous nail sets that I had so she kind of could get the vibe of, you know, what type of person I am and what type of nail sets that I like. She kind of just went off from a design that I previously did and eh, um, I did not like it and just not the design itself but just the overall application of the nails the acrylic and everything my nails were all a different size um and shaping really really matters to me it's like shaping is the first thing i look for when i'm looking at somebody's nail page so if the shaping is off i'm automatically not interested like i don't care how bomb your designs are i don't care how fire your designs are if your shaping is off it's over i'm not even gonna look anymore so um yeah my nails were a different size and shape and i just wasn't feeling it so for me that was a fail <laughs> and um and no disrespect to the nail tech that did my nail but it just wasn't my vibe okay um and i'm so thankful that i didn't even have to pay for this nail set because i did not like them um while i was getting my nails done there was a guy in there getting his nails done and randomly as he's getting ready to pay his tab he asked them how much my nails were and he took care of it um he didn't even say two words to me it was so random he just he just paid for my nails say so, yeah, i'm glad i have to spend my own coins because i didn't like them anyway but yeah so on to the next okay so this is the second nail tech i went to um okay what can i say about this one Okay, so we're just going to start from the beginning, from when I booked and everything, okay? When I arrived to the nail salon, um, she told, she texted me and told me that she was going to be 20 minutes late. So that was automatically red flag for me. Like, I'm a new client. First impressions matter off rip, okay? If I wasn't upset, though, I was in the car. I was chilling. It was cool. So, yeah, I met her in the shop. It was just me and her. She had, like, just opened up. I was her first client. Um, She told me that she was late because she had just um signed the papers for her new shop that was, like, three stores down from her old shop so she told me that she was just in there trying to take in the moment and everything and i totally get it like that was that was perfectly fine with me i was not tripping another thing is that this nail tech she uses forms instead of tips and if you don't know what that is i'm actually gonna put a clip here of her doing my nails so you guys can see um she just uses straight acrylic so instead of like gluing the tips on and then placing the acrylic she just uses acrylic and that right there i did not like that i did not like that because i feel like if a nail tech is gonna go that route as far as doing forms um i feel like you have to be extremely skilled in shaping you know what i'm saying because because it's not like they have the tips where um it's giving them sense of direction on the shaping if that makes sense it's not like they have the tips where it can be like a base for them i don't even know if i'm explaining it right but you guys get what i'm saying using tips and acrylic versus just using acrylic by itself like i said you got to be extremely skilled like shaping is like my number one thing when getting my nails done like, so with that being said i feel like all my nails were a different shape and they were <sighs> also I, mean, I know they look decent but these are one of the nail sets that in person it was extremely sloppy um if you guys can see where the pearls and the stones are on my nails where she glued those pearls and stones on my nails it was like glue dragging like across the nail from like her gluing the pearls and stuff um also the money sign that was on my thumb it wasn't glued down properly it was like ripping off at the side and i had just got them done um the gun had ended up falling off the gun stayed on for like a week i believe if i'm not mistaken and then it ended up falling off i also wanted to mention too the paint job was horrible the way she painted it made it seem like i needed a filling already it was crazy but yeah um 
it was just really sloppy and I feel like it was only sloppy because she was really distracted. Um, while I was getting my nails done, there was a girl that came in there that was like assisting her. I don't know if she worked in the shop or not. Um, and then a friend of hers came in and you know, we're all talking and everything and it was cool, like great conversation. It was cool. Like I don't have a problem with, I really don't have a problem with nail techs, you know, having side conversations and all that. I don't, but if you're going to do that, make sure you're also paying very close attention on what you're doing with my nails. You get what I'm saying? Like make sure you can multitask. Like, like, don't be so distracted where you're doing sloppy work and you know, so that's like one of the things I really had a problem with. Um, like I wasn't trying to be, I wasn't trying to do the most and be tripping out or whatever, but it was like, she's on the phone and then her friend came in and then 30 minutes to her being done with my nails, her friend pours her a drink. <laughs> they asked if I wanted one, I denied. Um, like it was only four of us in the shop, but it was still just a lot going on. Um, I don't know. It was just a lot going on. I don't want to even go any further because again, I'm not trying to bash anybody's business or how they work or anything like that. So that's that. You guys drop down in the comments. Did Nail Tech 2 nail it or fail it? Like I said in the video and the pictures, they look good. But in person, it was just a little sloppy for me. Yeah. So on to Nail Tech number three. Um, this Nail Tech has her own private suite. So um, it was like a private suite in a building. That was cool. So it's just me and her. Off rip, she was real cool. She's real chill, real, real laid back. Real sweet girl, it was a cool vibe. So let's reveal the nails that she did. Do you guys see this? Like this nail set is just like, this nail set is just so girly and cute. Like she killed it. This is a clueless vibe. This is a clueless vibe featuring Blossom, okay? And let me mention, please keep in mind before voting, keep in mind that there is no decal stickers on these nails, okay? There are no decal stickers on these nails. She hand painted each and every nail, okay? super talented super fire like going to her was just so refreshing like it just reminds me of like back in the day like when you used to get your nails done there was like no decal stickers or none of that like everybody was hand painting hand drawing everything you know what i'm saying so going to her that's what it reminded me of it just reminded me of like back in the day which was so refreshing so therapeutic um i loved it the shaping on point each nail was on point Point. like great length loved it like I loved everything about these nails like it was so girly and cute for me I loved it I usually kind of always get my nail sets with like blue in it so this was like you know a little different and it was just super cute super girly I loved it. this is nail tech number three and keep in mind that she did two nail sets for me so let me know in the comments did nail tech number three nail the first nail set okay does she nail it or fail it so let's go on to the second nail set that nail tech number three did. Um, boom, okay. Now, the feeling killed it. This is a Brax inspired nail set, okay? And not only did she hand paint the Brax dolls on my nail, but she painted me in Brat's form. Who? Did, did y'all hear what I said? She painted me on my nails in Brat's form. Who, who you know, who you know, ever did nails like this? I'll wait, I'll wait. <laughs> Who you know got themselves hand painted on their nails before in Brat's form? Who you know? I'll wait. Oh. Okay. Listen, she is so dope. Like, she killed it. If you ask me, she killed it. I'm going to show you guys both hands because she, um, she kind of gave like a different vibe on each hand and I loved it. Like, it was so cute. Like, so cute. I love these nails. So, so cute. The nail tech number three, nail or fail her second set that she did for me. I think she nailed it. I think she nailed it both times. I ain't gonna lie. 
she nailed it both times like these are one of the nail sets that they look good in picture and in person okay picture and in person and also i want to mention the person i went to to go do this nail set is actually nail tech number three so <laughs> on to the last nail tech um which is the nails that i actually have on now yeah i had these nails on for about three weeks now and child i'm holding on because i gotta wait for my appointment to get this video out for you i gotta wait to get my nails done to do my collab video that's in the beginning of this video that you guys just seen <laughs> so i'm holding on okay i've been trying to glue them down and make them stay because they are ready to come off but yeah so this is the last nail tech that i went to um this nail tech is actually in a nail salon. Super girly. I loved it. Um, it's pink. Like, the whole nail salon is pink. It was such a cute vibe. It's really cute in there. Um, she's a really, really young girl. I don't know what these teenagers are eating nowadays, but bro, she looks like a grown ass adult to me. Like I was so shocked that she said she was like 16, 17. I don't remember exactly which one she said, but she's like mad young. Anyway, shall. So yeah, nail tech number four is super cute shop. She's really young. Um, she's talented, you know. Everybody has their way of doing nails, okay? I just want to say that everybody has their way of doing nails, and everybody's not for me. And that's cool. But we're gonna see who's up for the job, okay? We're gonna see who's up for the job. Y'all gonna be in the comments voting if they nailed it or failed it, okay? I need y'all help. Make sure you guys are engaging in this video, okay? I really need y'all help on finding a new nail tech, okay? Nail tech number four. So, I'm going to put the picture right here. I'm going to put the picture right here or the video, whatever, right here. I feel like the shaping is on point. I feel like she got that. I feel like she got that shaping on point. But my whole thing is like the application, baby. <laughs> the application just wasn't it for me. I'm being honest, okay? The application of the acrylic just wasn't it for me. Like, okay, so first of all, let me give you guys a close-up. First of all, she makes the acrylic super, super thick at the cuticle. Like, super, super thick. And as the nail goes down, it just gets super thin. And I asked her if she can like level it out, you know, but she didn't really do that. So it just looks crazy. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but do you guys see that? Is it focused? I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it just looks crazy. Like, and, and then some of them were slanted, like. <laughs> it's like the shaping is so good but some of my nails is leaning i don't like that i don't like that <laughs> some of my nails is the leaning child like i don't know like the shaping is fire, but the application, baby. No, she gave me something real simple. Like she's not really a like a designer type of girl. Like she just do the stones application, whatever. Um. But yeah, you guys, let me know in the comments. The nail tech number four, nail it or feel it. Be honest, you guys. Be honest in the comments. Did she nail it or feel it? Okay. Um. So I'm here taking my nails off and never had a fungus on my nail before. Never. This nail salon is... We keeping it real on this channel at all times, okay? So y'all better be in the comments giving y'all honest opinion, okay? <laughs>